kitchen cleaning time. Ooh, this one looked like it's gonna be green. Let's see about this one. So we got a bucket that's filling up with water. And then we are gonna take some bleach. And usually one part bleach, two parts water. And I'm gonna put quite a bit. Hopefully that will be enough. All right, so now we are gonna grab these urchins. This is pretty gross, I will admit that. You see those white things right there? Those are teeth. Right, so we're gonna plop them in. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the water. Okay, turn off the water. And we will add more water or bleach if we need to. So there's some flies buzzing around seaweed. So these urchins are going to be purple. They were found dead already after a tropical storm came by. Unfortunately killed a bunch of them and they washed ashore. So you can see their spines are already falling off which is good. The spines are what we want as well. Gonna put the spines in our bleach too. You can also do this with hydrogen peroxide. Oh, that's a turtle shell egg because we don't need that. Um, oh, look at that one. I didn't have any hydrogen peroxide at the moment or not enough, so I chose bleach. If you do hydrogen peroxide, it takes a little bit longer too. You'll have to let them sit for about another week. Whereas if you do the bleach, only about an hour. down there that already naturally fell off. Fishing wire. And we're almost done. There's more fishing wire. I'm not prepared to take that off just yet. <laughs> Snakes in here. Snakes love these hibiscus bushes as I'm looking for more. <laughs> I don't think there are though. I would have scurried away by now. So this looks like a good mix. You can see it's kind of foaming up a little bit, so that's good. Let's lift up one from the bottom. Alright, yeah, look at that. So, look how the spines just fall off. And then, we're gonna come, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you the next step. In the meantime, I'm gonna pick up all these little spines and throw them in here to help disinfect. Okay, see you in a few minutes, or see you in a little while. So I don't really know how long it's been, not very long. I picked up so many little urchin spines, it was unbelievable. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much they look like earthworms either, it's pretty, pretty sick. <laughs> so I would say I was probably doing it for 20 minutes and then I was looking through here to see how they were doing and it looks like they're doing pretty good. So I wanted to show you. Oh no! They pearl. Oh, 
Why? Why? After all this time. So look at this one. I thought it was going to be purple. It's green. So the bleach is taking off all those little prickly, little fuzzies we don't want. So since it's still working, they're not all completely smooth yet. I think I'm going to leave them in for five more minutes and then we'll come back and revisit them and see how they're doing. Okay. So, it's been, no! Wait, that's the same one. It's been about 30 minutes. As you can see, they are pretty clean. Not much is left on them. We are going to dump these out. I have a strainer here that is old. It's not old, it's just my shell strainer. And I don't use it for food, so I use it and abuse it. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Pour it all out. And I do have the hose running next to it. out in the sun. Now once they're done drying or now, I prefer to do it when they're hard. You can take like a car washing scrubby, a toothbrush, and you can scrub the rest of the fuzz off. Or what I have done in the past, but since these are Thai urchins, um, you can rub them against a brick or something like that, but that might rub the nubs down. So for this particular urchin I would not suggest it but I'm going to dry mine first and I might be able to just rub it off easier that way this one's a pretty fragile since they've been wet and sitting in the bleach all right so I'm going to take them up here I'm going to clean out the rest of that bucket. <laughs> I'm going to separate the spines from the urchins and then I will be back. Spines separated from the urchins. This is how many urchins we got. That was pretty sick, guys. I, I'll, I will admit that. That was pretty sick. The bucket is now clean and fine. So now all those little, like, little... I don't even know what you call them, those. They were like mixed in because the strainer has such a fine mesh. And then there's like the insides of the urchins, like where their teeth were and stuff. They're kind of floating around. So I'm going to have to sacrifice a human strainer. <laughs> those like we're going to the store later. Because <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm not taking through that. <laughs> Strainers. Out of there. Okay. And then hopefully that will get all that little chunk out. Oh, there's another urchin. And then what I'm going to do is a lot of these urchins, I think I can glue back together, they have a little bit of like remains of their body left 
so and like just little stuff like that i just did hit them a little bit with a scrubber but it's kind of hard to do it so i'm going to mix bleach and water one more time just a little bit and it's not going to be as strong and i'm going to give them like one good final cleaning just so like their teeth can finally fall out and just any of those last little remaining bits of brown can turn green or white all right so i will return with these spines separated <laughs> and these urchins in bleaching water okay so the urchins have been sitting in a bleaching water combo i picked through all of that mess and got like a third of what we saw so i'm just going to pour this bleach water over the urchin spines give them one last good blend So a few fell on the ground that I've been going to pick up in my basket cut so much. I'm going to get a little bit of time. So I'm going to my basket and I'm rinsing off the urchins and shells. Alright, good enough. So now I'm just going to leave them in the sun and I will get them tonight. Alright guys, so it's been about four hours. And just want to see what the final result looks like. Pretty good. These are some nice looking urchins. His teeth stayed in through all that. Oh. Actually very cool looking. His teeth are flopping around. <laughs> we saw plenty of these, right? So that's their teeth. Very sharp. And then all the urchin spines are down below. And it's filled to the broom. This is a beautiful strainer, isn't it, guys? <laughs> so there you have it. And then if you want to see how to make them strong, I have a YouTube video on a how-to. And it's very, very easy. This will be stuff that you probably already have in your house. So there you go.